Hi, it's nice to be with you all today. Thank you for the invitation to share about mindfulness with you. I'd like to share a few things and then also see if we could do a short practice in the time that we have. Mindfulness is a term that is becoming really well known throughout the world. It refers to an ability to be present. And I'm gonna share with you um, complicated definition and then a very simple definition um, or a longer definition. This comes from the Greater Good Science Center in Berkeley, California. It's at the University of California and they do a lot of research on pro-social skills, on, on um, positive psychology and things that we do that work, that help us be the kind of human beings that we'd like to be. So this is their definition, that mindfulness means maintaining a moment by moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and environment. It involves acceptance, meaning that we pay attention to our thoughts and feelings without judging them, right? Without thinking or believing uh, that there's a right or wrong way to think or be or feel. And when we practice mindfulness, our thoughts really tune into what we're sensing in the present moment, rather than going into the past and thinking about what happened in the past or going into the future. It's really this question of what is happening right here, right now? Right here, right now. A, a simpler, maybe more direct uh, definition of mindfulness that I love to use is with Mina, Mina Srinivasan. And it is, um, comes from her book, Teach, Breathe, Learn. And she wrote, she works in a, worked in a school district in California. And she wrote this book about teaching mindfulness in schools. But mindfulness is paying attention to your experience in real time with kindness and curiosity. And I love this, I love this definition. Two simple words, kindness, curiosity, maybe three. Now, kindness, curiosity. So often our minds are spinning either in the past or the future. We're worried, um, you know, thinking ahead, we're planning. So this mindfulness asks us to stop that, be right here, right now, and to not judge, to be kind and curious. There are four ways or places that we work with our mindfulness. Uh, one is with body sensations and body experiences. So breathing or moving or um, moving my attention around my body. And I just, I pay attention to pay attention to those things in the present moment with kindness and curiosity. The second one is about feelings and noticing what am I feeling? And how does that show up? Where do I feel it in my body? It could be emotions. It could be bodily sensations and feelings of heat or coldness or tingling. It could be emotions like anger or joy. Just noticing them with kindness and curiosity. And then we, the third foundation of mindfulness is noticing our thoughts and our thinking. What's going on? So what am I thinking? Just noticing it. And I, oh, that's a thought. Noticing, naming it, thought. That's another way to pay attention to ourselves and our experience in the present moment with kindness and curiosity. And the final foundation of mindfulness is uh, the contemplation of, of mind states. Um, and it's sort of like when I'm having an experience, how am I relating to that experience? And just noticing who am I in relationships? And how does that affect me? So there's four foundation of mindfulness. We're going to focus on just the first one for now, but I wanted you to see that there's different places that we can focus our attention when we're being mindful. So I'd like to invite you right now to take a minute and practice mindfulness with me. The first practice we're going to do is to just to breathe in and out. Notice your breath. Breathing in. 
Notice your breathing in, breathing out. Notice your breathing out. So I want you to get comfortable. Sit in a way that's comfortable and strong. Maybe put your feet on the ground and sit up tall. Start to notice your breathing. Just notice. When you breathe in, where does the breath come in? When you breathe out, where does it come out? Notice kindness and curiosity. When you breathe in, what happens with your body? Where does the air go? What moves? Does your chest move? Does your diaphragm move? Does your belly move? When you breathe in, what does your body do? And when you breathe out, what does your body do? What moves, what changes? Okay, come back. I'm wondering how that was for you. Since I'm not with you in person to find out, I hope that you'll have a nice conversation about it with the people that you're with. And I'm curious if just this one short moment of mindfulness and learning a little bit about mindfulness, I'm wondering how that's impacted you. I hope that you have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. I hope that mindfulness becomes a tool to help you center yourself, to ground, to relax, and to be present for yourself and for the people that you love. Thank you very much.